The release of WNBA star Brittany Griner from that Russian prison is giving some other families who have someone detained overseas some renewed hope. Our Brooke Rogers spoke to members of an organization about their efforts to bring their family members back home. Hannah Shargi has spent nearly five years missing her dad and fearing for his safety. He's like the glue of our family. He's really like all of our best friends. Imad Shargi, who is American, was arrested in Iran while visiting family in 2018. He was charged with espionage without a trial. It's been really difficult, honestly. Um, it's been really hard not knowing how long he's going to be there and then having these bursts of hope. A burst of hope came last week with the news of Brittany Griner's release. Griner and Sharkey's families are part of the Bring Our Families Home campaign, which launched about six months ago. Harrison Lee is as well. Certainly the first reaction is one of joy and relief because, you know, we know how hard it is to get these wrongfully detained Americans and hostages out of these foreign countries. His father, Kai Li, has been in prison in China for more than six years. With Griner being the ninth prisoner released since they started the campaign, he remains hopeful. It, it placed this issue of arbitrary detentions into the national spotlight. The one person they believe can help is President Biden. They've asked to meet him in person so that he can hear their family's stories. But so far, they've not received a response. And that's where they hope their collective voices will be a catalyst for change and long-awaited homecomings. I think for so long we've all felt we, we're shouting into the void, trying to advocate for our families and not being heard. And then finally when we came together, we were so much stronger. Brooke Rogers, CBS 11 News.